What's up guys, my name is Tom and I've been working with AI models for over 10 months now. I made my first money with AI models back in the February, it was over 3k in the course of the one month and since then AI models agency has been growing consistently. Last month we generated just over 13.1k in revenue with just two models combined. In this video I will tell you exactly how to create your own AI model's face and body along with the photos and the videos for the social media. The method I'm about to show you is good for the beginners but it's not the best method and also not the easiest one. The method that has the best results and also is the easiest one that's what my paying clients get but don't worry. If you don't want to invest money into AI models at least you have this video for free. Let's get into the video. Okay, so first we will pick two different models, for example from Pinterest. I chose this random model and Emma Watson because she has distinctive facial features. Don't worry, I'm not going to use their faces. I'm creating my own from them and just borrowing some of the features to match my vision of how I want my model to look. Now I will show you. I brought this prompt, look at these two photos and describe the detail of their faces so then we can use these details as a prompt in Flux for the mode Juggernaut Pro. From the first model, so Emma, I want the face shape, eyebrows and lips. From the second model, I want the nose, eye shape and the eye color. Of course, we want it as detailed as possible, so the program will know exactly how to generate the model we want. Then I waited to generate a full description. What matters to us is the positive prompt, meaning it describes exactly we want the program to create. If you will encounter a negative prompt, that means, you will most probably, that means we want the right exact of the opposite of it. I take what the chat gave me and paste it into OpenArtAI. The cheapest membership is $14, I believe it's okay. The mode to Juggernaut Pro, paste it into prompt, upload the exact photos we used for building the prompt and set the creativity level for 0.65%, output size stays the same and in the advanced settings I set upscale to 2x. I click generate and I make at least 8 of the results so you can clearly see how it looks. For now we are just picking the face we like the most, the rest doesn't matter. I will choose this one, it's cutter even though a bit wider and still plastic looking but obviously we will fix that. Now we want to create the body, it takes, I just name her a test model, it takes a moment to load. We upload our chosen face into the characters, create our own model and quickly create on our own model so we are using our face. Then I write a prompt describing how I would have to look, something I have tested before so obviously a slim base, good curves and everything about the model. Now I click just generate and when I look at the results we have uh, several body types. I like this one the most, the next one are too chubby which I think which isn't the one we are going for. So I open flux mode, put in our model and now we are just making her to look more realistic. Adding my own prompt which I created using the, the imagine to prompt function on a random model photo. In short, I want our model to be in the same thing as this model, so in the bikini somewhere on the beach. After generating, it's already much better, but it's still not the same quality I personally use. I will show you some comparisons with what's possible using the best programs. But that program we use to enhance is what I use and my clients use. So we will end the photo generation here and we will go straight to the videos. Let's say I want this photo to be animated. As our model runs towards me, smiles and brush her hair, for example. Okay, now we will do this in Kling 2.1 Master. We will write a short prompt. Then I use a DeepSeek for those who don't know. It's a built-in AI here, so it's job just to refine or adjust the prompt so the result is as close to our request as possible. Here is the final result. Since this is my first video on this YouTube account, I'm not here to sell you anything. I just wanted to straight up show you how to create your own AI model version for the lowest cost possible step by step because nobody else is going to show you exactly this. In the next video we will go from this level of AI model quality to the second one and I will walk you through more advanced programs. So the best thing you can do is to hit the subscribe button and join my AIOFM community on the telegram because that's where I share updates about AIOFM. And that's it from this video. See you in the next one. Peace.